Series 1. Back to Basics. Doing Business in Singapore. When must I register a business in Singapore? Generally speaking, unless exempted, you must register a business with the Accounting and Corporate Regulatory Authority of Singapore if you are carrying out any for-profit activity on an ongoing basis in Singapore. Your business may be exempted from registration if you conduct your business using your full name as reflected in your NRIC. Which business entity should I choose? If you're a local company, some common business entities are a private company limited by shares, a limited liability partnership, a sole proprietorship. Generally speaking, choosing the right entity involves a balance of the following, minimizing risk exposure, reducing regulatory costs, fitting your business goals, private company limited by shares, pre-LTD, the good, limited liability, Generally speaking, shareholders and directors of a PTE LTD are not personally liable to creditors for the debts and liabilities that a PTE LTD incurs. This is an important risk consideration where a company enters into a large number of contracts and obligations and therefore exposes itself to a fair amount of risk. Further Capital Fundraise this entity is also suitable for founders that intend to raise more capital, as a PTE LTD provides great flexibility to founder. Example, issuing different classes of shares or incorporating a holding company, i.e. the investment vehicle, that is differentiated from its subsidiary, i.e. the operational vehicle, the bad. Costs and regulation. That said, a PTE LTD is subject to a fair amount of reporting requirements, for example, Appointment of company secretary and directors that are ordinarily residents in Singapore. Holding annual general meetings. Auditing of accounts, unless exempt. This also means higher costs in order to fulfill the reporting requirements. Therefore, a PTE LTD may not be suitable for companies that have a fairly simple and small setup. Limited Liability Partnership, LLP. The good. Limited liability plus less regulation. Some SMEs prefer to establish an LLP since an LLP also seeks to limit the liability of its partners and managers, with the added benefit of lower costs and regulations. This being the case, an LLP may be suitable for entities that have a fairly small and simple setup. The bad? Minimum of two partners plus other requirements. Unlike a PTE LTD which can be wholly owned by one individual, an LLP requires a minimum of two partners. One, a manager who is ordinarily a resident in Singapore and has a registered office in Singapore. Simple business. The LLP is not entirely suitable for a business that intends to raise investor money and generally assumes that each partner is also an owner and manager of the business. As such, an LLP is more suitable for small businesses that have a simple setup and where each partner is both an owner and manager of the business, example, professional services. Sole proprietorship, the good, minimal regulation plus least cost. The sole proprietorship is subject to the least amount of regulation. So long as you are 18 years old and a Singapore citizen, Singapore permanent resident, or an entree pass holder, you are generally qualified to set up a sole proprietorship. It is also less costly to administer. The bad? Personal liability. The owner of a sole proprietorship is personally liable to creditors for debts and liabilities incurred in the name of the business. This being the case, it is entirely not suitable for businesses that are exposed to a fair amount of risks and liabilities. 